Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the performance of the physical turtles in the Cell Max Super Activation event. Now, as you guys know, my usual disclaimer exists for the Cell Max event. So, essentially, basically, to cut a long story short, uh, the Cell Max event is a very tough event that has a very quick first two opening phases that are relatively difficult. Moving into a much more difficult final phase against the tech cell max. Now what that means is that means units that build up or take time to stack aren't going to have a great time here. It also means units that have int typing are going to be considered more valuable against cell max due to their type advantage. Now Turles, Turles is pretty good. Turles uh, doesn't take too long to build up. He's actually relatively reliable in that sense. He's quite strong. Uh, he built up relatively quickly, taking only 4 super attacks. Turles also has a relatively strong link set with his category. Uh, he's got Thirst for Conquest and Big Bad Bosses. And Turles has a relatively high defense with a small amount of damage reduction. Now, his damage reduction is not enough to enable him to tank supers from Cell Max. But he is definitely 100% in the realm of possibility of being able to tank normal attacks from Cell Max. So he does a very, very, very good job uh, in that regard. He's quite solid, uh, really reliable unit in that sense. And so there's a pretty decent kind of situation for him, you know, to exist on that kind of spectrum. Like he, he's a unit that, you know, offers a lot of reliability in being a good damage dealer whilst also being a, you know, like really really solid defensive unit for normals of course yeah normals aren't everything and i understand players probably want units that can tank supers and do certain things but i think overall um you know turles sits on the spectrum of just being a very solid all-round unit he has the ability to tank relatively okay he has the ability to deal out decent damage his active skill can be quite useful he also heals as well off of his super attacks, which provides him some baseline utility. And generally speaking, his leader skill is pretty solid. It's not the most spectacular. Space Traveling Warriors has some niche units um, that are maybe a bit more difficult to utilize than others. But he covers all the big trending units. Uh, Kula, Freezer, himself, uh, Bojack. Uh, he's got Enchilai on that team. And then you can fill it up with pure sands as well. So he's got a relatively strong team, I would say, without necessarily being an ostensibly broken leader skill. So decent leader skill, decent unit. Turles is kind of like the 6.5, 7 out of 10 of DFE releases. Good animations, pretty fun. And if you're into Turles, you're into Turles and he'll work. So overall, I think he's good. From that perspective, I do think there are some things that are lacking that maybe you'd like him to do a bit better. But I think for the most part, there's very minimal to complain about. I just think he's a well-constructed unit. Overall, I like him a lot. I think his build and his functionality are simple as well. Yeah, he's a second slot unit primarily. His general pool banner units generally enable him to do so. Because if you have Raisin and Amond, then you tend to have a pretty good time with him. Now, if you don't have Raisin and Amond, then you do struggle to place him in the second slot. Because there's very few relative true first slot tanks outside of AGL Golden Freezer. And obviously, you know, he's not on Space Traveling Warriors. Uh, for whatever reason, the AGL Golden Freezers are not on Space Traveling Warriors. Which means if you're running Turles as a friend, you cannot run them, so he's better to be run under a Terrifying Conquerors. Unfortunately, I have him only from the friend, so we're unable to do so. So there is that slight deviation that you are probably going to want to keep track of. But that's really about it. Turles looks pretty good otherwise. Here we've got his Major Links active. He does have a fair chunk of support on the rotation, but he's going to be pretty good defensively. He's got that 20% damage reduction. He's got that ability to heal. And so he brings a lot to the table. He is going to get smited by a super attack, which you're going to see now. But outside of that, he does pretty well. So I think Turles overall is a solid option, if not as good as a floater, preferably for this event, to provide healing and just being defensively solid. That's it from me. Bye.